Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on Lindy, the AI assistant that can help you automate your daily tasks and boost your productivity. Today I'll walk you through setting up Lindy to manage your emails. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to sign up for a Lindy account. So I want you to go to Lindy AI and just go to try for free. And here you're going to have the option to actually create an, an account using your email or to sign up with your Google account, which is what I recommend. Now, after you do this, you're going to have the option also to start a seven free day trial with the premium plan. But if not, in your free plan, you're going to get 400 free credits and tasks to start. Now, after you do this, you're going to get to the home page, the dashboard. And now, guys, we are going to create our first AI assistant. Okay, which are called Lindis. Now you have two different options. You can create them from scratch or you can select a template, okay? You can create them from scratch by going to new Lindy here and clicking on start from scratch, okay? And if you wanna select your templates, you can just scroll down in the main page and you can select any of these templates and you can also see all templates, okay? In this case, the first one that I wanna create for you is actually an email responder, which is gonna be extremely useful and very, very common. So yeah, let's just click on email responder here. Let's click on add. And now you're gonna basically add your email, which is gonna be this account here in my case. I'm just gonna click on continue, continue again. And now this is basically gonna ask you the type of emails that are gonna require a response from this AI agent, okay? So the default option works pretty good in my opinion, especially if you manage like a small business. It says, go down this path if the emailer is asking a question about my service, product, or company. So whenever you receive an email that is re related to your product, the AI agent is gonna respond, okay? So this is fine for me, so let's click on continue, but you can always edit it. And now this is extremely important, guys. You have to configure your knowledge base, which is gonna be the documents that your AI agent is gonna take into account when crafting this response here. So let's say, for example, that I am the owner of Nike, let's say, okay, and I wanna receive emails from customers inquiring about certain sneakers, okay? And I'm gonna craft a response based on those questions, okay? So what I can do is I can add files, which can be, for example, PDF regarding your catalog, your company, so on, so on, so on. I can directly insert text here, and I can also just add different websites. Maybe if I have websites of my catalog, I can just add them here, and the AI is gonna, is gonna scrap them, and is gonna extract all of the important info. Okay, so in my case, I'm just gonna click on website, but you can choose your own method. And I'm gonna copy paste this link here. I'm gonna click add single link. You can add more, by the way. And I'm just gonna click on save. Let's go to continue. Make sure that this is sync. And now your email responder is set up. Great, amazing. Let's click on continue again. Now we just have to modify a little bit the settings and the flow editor, which are gonna be the steps that the AI is gonna take, okay? So let's go to settings here. And now context. Here you can be as precise as you want basically, but you can just say, I don't know, you are a customer service agent working for Nike. I want you to provide relevant and personalized answers to customer questions about sneakers and items on our catalog, for example, right? And what's very important is that you can choose your own model, okay? But this is gonna cost you, you know, different types of tokens, different types of coins, which are here, it's okay? I actually recommend you keeping it to default because it's very cheap, but if you need more precisions or more capabilities, just switch to, you know, maybe Smartest or to, yeah, GPT-40 basically, okay? Or GPT-01, all right? Now, about the float editor, this is basically the steps that the AI is gonna take. What I recommend you do is that if you wanna filter the emails that you get, just click on this first item here, go to email receive, and just filter events on this trigger, okay? So the AI is only gonna be set up when it detects that an email has been sent, for example, by a certain person, or, you know, has certain subject, or things like that. You can filter by subject, and you can choose contains, and you can select, for example, a word. Let's say that you can you want to filter your emails on the word sneakers or sneaker, so that only emails containing this word are going to be sent to your AI agent. Okay, you can totally do this, all right? And this is going to actually span less tokens, right? Once you're ready, just click on save. Now we're actually going to test this AI agent to see how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to send an email to myself, basically, which is this one here that I'm looking for a new pair of uh, sneakers with a certain characteristics, okay? And I'm just gonna send it, cool. Now, what I don't like about Lindy is that your emails can take a while to be detected and you have actually no choice to modify the frequency of which your email is gonna be updated, which I find very bad. 
But yeah, let's say that we want to test this manually, okay? What are we going to do is we're going to go to our agent and we, we're going to click on test. And now Lindy is going to manually go through our emails, basically. And here we have this one here, the first one, okay? So we're just going to select it. And now the AI agent is basically going to make like a set of checks okay making sure that this email actually is compliant with what we ask for it if it's about a certain product and so on so on so on and after it has checked all of the different uh, settings it's going to make a recommendation here okay so it says cool now what's interesting about this answer is going to be saved as a draft in your email okay so if i go back to my email and i go to drafts here the same email here it's in the drafts and i can just send it from here Okay, manually. If you want to modify this and you trust the AI agent enough so that it can send emails automatically, what you can do is you can, instead of, you know, saving as a draft, you can basically scroll down here and you can disable this option, save as a draft off. You, you can set it off, okay? I don't recommend that you actually do this because I think it's important that you check your messages before they are being sent. So I recommend that you keep them safe as a draft, okay? Like I said before, this is a test that we actually force manually, but if not, Lindy is going to check your email every hour or every couple of hours and it's going to, you know, craft a response and save it as a draft, okay? And you can check that by going into your tasks here in, inside of your agent. So just come to tasks section and here you can see basically all of the different conversations that you have. And if you just click on it, you're going to have the full thread. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Remember that you have a bunch of different things that you can automate, such as, you know, schedulers, lead generators, and so on and so on, or you can create your own from scratch, okay? Lindy is a very complete tool, and I hope that you can use it. Thank you so much, guys.